I know what you'd say, Zach. That I'm crazy. I need to be practical. You're not sending me any message. Your accident was just an accident. There's no big secrets. There's no scary people out to get me. You're just gone. Kendall Slater is a smart woman. She's already asking questions. Now, if I'm gonna find what we're looking for, I'm gonna need her to keep thinking of me as her friendly neighborhood minister. Not the man who killed her husband. Word on the street is he tried to bust out of this place. I want to believe, Binks. I want to believe so much that Zach is still trying to reach me. Meet me in the park as soon as you can. We need to talk about my plans for Kendall. Please smile. <laughs> What's that smile? Yeah, except she uses it a lot more than he did. <laughs> so, uh, have you heard from Reese? Oh, we keep missing each other. But we're gonna be fine. The two of us will work it out one way or another. So are you gonna tell me why you snuck out of the hospital? I know this sounds crazy, but... I needed to be close to Zach. That doesn't sound crazy at all. But not, not just because I missed him. Um, I've been having these dreams. I, I had a couple of dreams where I felt like he was reaching out, trying to tell me something. I'll tell you what. I don't know. Uh, uh, Reverend Torres gave me a ride home, but when we got there, the place was broken into. What, you were robbed? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, nothing, nothing was taken. The cops think maybe it was some teenage prank, like some initiation or something. Mm, but you aren't sure. Like I said, I've got all sorts of, like, weird things floating around in my head. Zach and the troubles he was having with his business partners plane crash, and now these dreams. What, you think he's, I don't know, trying to warn you? I don't know, I don't know. I know it, it, it doesn't make any sense. And plus, I'm still on the medication from, from the surgery, and so I'm just, I'm all over the place. I even had Greenlee put in a call to Ryan's PIs. Well, what does Ricky think? He was kind and understanding as usual. Hi. Tell them to back off and let me do my job. You all need to trust me. Kendall does, and so does everybody else in this town. But you still haven't found the evidence Zach Slater had on us. You know, the proof we were the ones stealing from the company. I'll find it. And I'll make sure that Kendall doesn't sell those casinos. She and I are going to be spending a lot of time together once she's released from the hospital. Sounds like you're really getting into this. Killing Zach was the easy part. Keeping us all out of prison, that's the trick. And what if the lovely widow gets on to you? She won't. What if she does? Then I'll do what I have to do. Reverend, what the heck you doing out here? Hello, Opal. I think we got a problem. A problem? Well, what kind of problem? You were supposed to come and visit me and my gal pal Erica, talk about Kendall. And oh. you never showed. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, excuse me. I'll talk to you soon. Peace be with you. And with you, Reverend. I hope I wasn't interrupting. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Are you kidding me? I love running into one of my favorite parishioners. Oh, you are so kind, Reverend. <laughs> uh, so you have been visiting Kendall? Oh, yes. Yes, and she's been doing so much better, both physically and emotionally. But you and Erica can rest assured that I'm going to be there for her as much as she needs me to be. That means so much to us. You know, Kendall is a very special girl. 
You don't have to tell me that. I am trying to move forward, not get hung up on what I've lost. I know the boys need that from me. I know that's hard. If you ask Griffin, hanging on to stuff like this is what almost killed me. And I know I am hanging on. And not just the dreams, but the way I think, the way I live. I haven't even moved forward on, on selling Zach's casinos yet. Well, Zach wanted to sell them. I know, and I will. I will, and, and the money will go directly to Griffin and the Miranda Center expansion. But right now, it's just impossible to let go. Thanks, are you okay? Yeah, I uh, just, I'm just thinking about what you're going through. And Ryan too, with Emma gone. Are you sure that's the only thing that's on your mind? Hi. Hi, Kendall. Hi. Um, I know that I'm a little bit early, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm here whenever you're ready, okay? Thanks. I'll be, I'll be right there. Okay. You have a meeting with Marissa today? Yeah. Uh, I told her I would be here. She's early. You didn't want me to know. Are, are you meeting with her as a friend or as a lawyer? Bianca, what's, what's going on? Uh, I didn't want to bother you while well, you're trying to get better and all, but, um, but I lied to you before. I did talk to Reese. We're getting a divorce. Thanks. I am so sorry. You were right. I was putting off the inevitable. I was hoping for a different outcome. I feel so awful for pressuring you like I did. No, no, no. It's not your fault. It was a long time coming. You just helped me take that step I needed to take. What did Reese say? Uh, she felt like I did, like it was over. And she was afraid to say it. It was a difficult conversation, but, um, civil. I'm sure the divorce will be as uncomplicated as these things can be. The girls. Memoranda's gonna take it hard. I can't believe it's come to this. <laughs> Anyway, I, I shouldn't leave Marissa out there. Thanks, thanks. You know I love you. I love you, too. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I can come back. No, no. Stay. Mm. Thank you for looking after my big sis. It's my pleasure. Believe me. Something wrong? I'll be all right. She just learned that her marriage is ending. No. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Listen, Bianca, if there's anything that I can do for you, just ask your sister. I'm a pretty good listener. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend. Yeah. I'll let you know. Would you call me, please? I will. Okay. Get some rest. Try. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you want to get some rest, I can just, I can go too. I'm, I'm not tired. All right. So, uh, did Dr. Castillo treat you out for <laughs> leaving the hospital? Uh... No, I can handle, I can handle him. I can oh, handle really? Yes. So, so what can't you handle? All right, check this out. 
The other day, I was helping out a member of my church who just so happens to be the chef at that new restaurant on Main Street. So, he offered me a personally catered meal any time that I've wanted. So I've decided that I'm saving it for the first night that you come home from the hospital. That is so nice, but honestly, you don't have to do that. I want to, and you can't say no. Okay. Well, then I'll just say yes. Okay, that's what I like. All right. Okay. Uh, let me get out of here before the doctor Castillo comes in here <laughs> and chews me out for tying you out. I, honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine. So does that mean you're going to get out of here soon? That is Griffin's call. Well, he's probably just being overprotective. Mm. Yeah. He has made your case personal. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Is it? So you think Griffin is what? Interested in you? Uh, I don't know. But I can't say that I blame him if he was. Well, I certainly haven't been giving off any signals. I mean, Zach only died a few months ago. No, 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 of course, of course. And nobody would ever think that. Y you know what? This is none of my business. Uh, Griffin and I are... He's my doctor. And he did an amazing thing to save me. Look, he, he's obviously an excellent doctor, and I'm nothing but grateful for what he's done. Anybody who keeps you around longer is a hero in my book. It's very nice to hear, Reverend. Uh-oh. I'll get out of here, don't worry. I'll see you soon for that dinner. Yes, yes. Okay. <sighs> you were talking about me? I like that. Yes, mm. we were. Kind of. Mostly we were talking about me. <laughs> what do you think about me being released from the hospital? What about it? Well, you said my tests are all coming out good, right? And I'm feeling stronger. So, am I ready to go home? Yeah, you are. Just now. I bet you're glad to be getting rid of me. Mm. I am not a good patient. What makes you say that? Um, let's see. Okay, I am constantly disappearing from the hospital, mm. even when my life is in jeopardy. And I almost got you killed in an ambulance. Okay. There's that. As long as we're being honest, I bet you're glad to be getting away from me, too. I won't be checking on you 24-7, telling you to get rest, listening to your heart. Mm. Yeah, you know, you, you do have a good point. You are definitely a pain. I will give you that. And so are you. Great. Mm. Okay, so then it works out. There you go. To being a pain in the ass. Being a pain in the ass. Yes. You're not going to be getting rid of me that quickly. I know. I know you have to make sure I don't slip. You made a promise to keep me safe. And I intend to keep it. <laughs>